All right. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise on the glory of two. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kapadash, fellow honors of the two apostles and the elders of GMS, and rule well, teach well, be a great example towards younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, hopefully they got that pushing the word of truth, and it's a series across the four winds in the name of the Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to hopefully the believers and listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, with GMS Mississippi Camp, and we're coming with a lesson dealing with the book of Revelation. Okay, which goes into things that are shortly to come. Okay, because at the end of the day, the book of Revelation was always looked at this mysterious, you know, scary, spooky book. Okay, but in the latter times, the Lord has revealed these things unto his servants, the prophets, man, to where we can go into these things and expound in the spirit, dealing with prophecy, man. Okay, and it's very vital prophecy in the book of Revelation, man. Okay. <laughs> a prophecy, they, they, a particular prophecy dealing with Revelation 13 and 16, dealing with the Quran, is something that we can't get wrong, man. You know? So let's get there, bro. This Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. It says, The revelation of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Yeah, things which must shortly come to pass. Because you go into the book of Revelation. You were dealing with a lot of prophecies that were dealing with modern times. Okay, you're going into the World War One, dealing with the dog fighters, you know, look like locusts. Okay, you was going to World War Two. Okay, you was going into the Dark Ages. You know, when Esau, all right, was uh, pushed in the bottomless pit, which is Europe. Okay, all these things were things that happened re relatively not too long ago, man. Okay. So the book of Revelation, all right, has a major impact on our day-to-day-to-day, -day -to -day, okay? Because what we're seeing is the brewing of the third world's war, which Revelation speaks on that, man, okay? What's that, uh, Revelation 9? Are we finished that? Uh, finished that. Revelation 9, getting the three worlds. It says, and he sent and signified it by his servant, by his angel unto his servant John. Yep. So John the Revelator has seen a lot of things dealing with modern society, man. Okay. And he's seen the Quran, but he's seen the device, man. Okay. He's seen how it enabled you to buy and sell. And that's one thing that we'll never get to break down is how you can buy and sell with sin. Okay. But in the spirit, we know exactly what that is, man. Okay, and we seen it being the infrastructure, all right, to buy and sell with this device, this Karagma, being set up as we speak, is here, you know? Go ahead. It's, uh, it's Revelation 9 and 12. Yep. One woe is past, yep. and behold. One woe, one wo the World War One. go ahead. And behold, there come two woes after, or more hereafter. There come two more woes hereafter, <laughs> okay? The three World Wars. Two of them have passed World War One, World War Two. Now we're just awaiting the third one, okay? And John the Revelator, he spoke of these things, okay? <laughs> the book of Revelation contains heavy prophecy that needs to be understood in these times, man, okay? Yes, I know. Uh, let's get that, uh, I think it's uh, Jeremiah 51 and 46. You see, one thing about it, all prophecy lines up with each other, man. When you go into the scriptures, all prophecy, all right? It lines up, boy. It's Jeremiah 51 and 46. Yep. Unless your heart faint, and uh, ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land, yep, a rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor, and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Yeah, so this is what Yahweh Shah was told in Matthew 24. This is what he was going into, okay? Rumors of war, okay? Revelation spoke about the woes, the war, okay? And there's two major prophecies in the book of Revelation that we're waiting on, and that's the Sea Hill and World War III, man, okay? And the Bible goes heavy into those two topics, man. So we hear rumors and rumors and circulating story, but eventually it's going to lead into a lot of violence, okay? And then there's going to be the coming of Yahweh Shai. Okay, and before that happens, that see him, he's going to be made mandatory. Yeah, that's what I'm saying.
and, and it's going to devastate the world because yep, World yep. War One, Two, yep. and well, World War One and Two devastated the world. Yep. yep. World War Three is definitely going to devastate the world. Yep. Because it's on a whole other scale. Yep. What's that? Uh, Isaiah nine five. Hey, because you had a lot. Of, there was a lot of famine. Okay. When wars happen, there's, there's, there's famine that comes with that. There's women being ravished. Like you study what what those. Uh, Russia did all right to those German women, you know. Ask, go, go do your research and see what those Russian men did to those German women while those men was out the war and Russia started invading Germany, man. All that comes with war. You see, war ain't just soldiers shooting guns at each other. No, war is a whole dynamic. Like, like you saying, bro, like. Everything changed when you had war like that, man. Widowhood, yep. widowhood increases on a mad, mad scale. Yep. You have a, you have a, a, a large amount, a large, you know, you have a, a large group of uh, men being slaughtered in yep. one area. Yep. You know, well, you know, across the whole region. This is Isaiah nine and five. Yep. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments uh, roll in blood. Yep. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. But this. This war is going to be a burning and fuel of fire. You see? Missiles, man. There's going to be a lot of destruction in this war. It's going to be way more destructive than World War I and II, which those were the most destructive wars the, the Earth has seen. But this third one is going to be more destructive than the both of them combined, man. Probably ten times over, man. Okay? Right. Like you said, it's going to be more destructive. Never have we seen on the face of the earth where the Lord, where, where a war has destroyed a whole entire uh, land. Yeah, a whole yeah. land mass, and it happens its own. Yeah, America's really finna be clear. Yep. you know of, of anybody living over here. Yep. that's what we're looking forward to. Yep. Uh huh. Hey, matter of fact, um, if you get that Revelation 17, read, read 17, then jump up. Matter of fact. Go to the bottom, the last verse of Revelation 17, and then read up to 16. It's Revelation chapter 17, starting at verse 18. And the women which thou sawest in the great in that great city, the woman, of Salaki, and the woman which thou sawest in that great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Yo, and that's America. America reigns over these other nations, man. America is the big dog. Okay, that's why America is able to have military bases wherever they want okay america is able to have their aircrafts the aircraft carriers okay go through any sea that they want because they're the dumbest nation in the earth okay that's why they're able to put sanctions on all these nations in the earth because they're the dominant nation in the earth that woman all right they're sitting on the beast man go ahead verse 17 for the most i have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. Yeah, so these nations going to, um, beginning with the EU and NATO, they gave their authority over to this beast system. Okay? That's why they able to be sanctioned because they're tied into this beast system economically, man. Okay? That's why when, when, when Trump was getting ready to uh, bag out this Iran nuclear deal, you had uh, uh, those EU presidents, uh, uh, Merkel from Germany, Macron from French, Boris Johnson from uh, uh, London, you know, they was pretty much begging Trump not to do it, man, because that would affect their economy, you see? So they gave authority to this beast system, okay, make themselves vulnerable within this beast system, and America, all right, is taking advantage of that, man, okay? Especially if they let my nigga Trump back in there, man. <laughs> yeah, Trump. Let Trump move a nigga out the way. That's <laughs> <Right. laughs> my nigga. Hey, Trump 2024, man. Let's tell you how it is. Yeah, yeah. We here 2024 with my nigga Trump, man. We'll be back on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> my nigga, he was out here. You know, hey, he, he was out here, man. And he made, he really isolated America, man. You know? On the global scale, Trump really isolated America. He made American first policy. Like, you know, the nation was suffering because of the American first shit, man. Fire. And the fire gonna be what? The third world war. 
You see? <laughs> Revelation is, is going into these things that's happening now. They, the EU is hating America now. Okay? And they're getting ready to burn the wall with fire, man. You see, these things have been revealed going back to Revelation 1. Yep. Because it said these things must surely come to pass, but they have been revealed. That's what Revelation means, the revealing. Yep. You know, and, and then also, too, in Amos 3, the Lord said he revealed his secrets to his service of prophets. Yep. So the Lord already had purpose in his mind that this place was going to rise and it was going to be destroyed by fire. Yep. And that's where you get the prophets prophesied. Yep. Yep. So now we uh, so like, no, you got, you got, you got. So now we understand how we understand the end and, and what's the what's to come into the end. You know, whereas you have people that's not even aware of what's what's going on. Like I said, people know the Revelation is a whole book of an apocalypse, but they don't really understand how it's gonna yeah, yeah, how detail. Detail. Yeah. Hey, the Lord put the spirit on the prophet to be spiritual commentator, man, to break down and you know what's what's step by step. You know. So the book of Revelation is contained a heavy prophecy, man. It must be understood. It's a part of the knowledge of salvation, man. <laughs> okay, understand it. That's why scripture said, you know, at least your hearts faint, for a rumor shall be heard one year, then another year a rumor. Well, we know that these things must be. Matter of fact, what uh you have a shot, but he confirmed it. You know? So when we hear these things, because you a bug out like you hear World War, like you're in the middle of the war, like you won't be able to think straight because you'll be so bugged out. You know? <laughs> uh, Matthew 24 and... Oh, come, come, come. It's Matthew chapter 4, verse uh, 24, verse 6. Yep. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, yep. for all these things must come to pass, yep. but the end is not yet. Yeah, so you have a shot. So you look, fear none of these things. Going back to Jeremiah 51 and 46, at least your heart faint, you know? Because your mind, we're going back to your mind. Your, you don't want your mind to give out on you. Like, people going to be really stuck, like, on some goddamn, like, shit. And, what they going to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? That's why, you know, so like, you know, just like in movies where people start begging God to, to come and save them. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be people doing that. Yeah. They ain't going to know what else to do. Yeah. And this, yeah, That's why we in time of sound doctrine, man. Right. Jake is just pushing with cord now, man. Jesus. Jake, you know, yeah, he <laughs> Jake just jumping off the couch and then pressing the cord, man, saying anything, man. No, we in time of sound doctrine, okay? Understanding, okay, is going to be critical in these times, man. Get that, uh, we, you know, Isaiah 33. Like the Lord talks to this is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his church. Hey, wisdom and knowledge are going to be the stability of our time. Okay? This is what's keeping us stable. And this is what's going to keep us stable in the time of chaos, man. You got to understand, if you don't believe prophecy, when it starts happening, the scriptures say what? Men's hearts will be failing them. You know? Let's get that in Luke. You see, we're going to be men's mind that's going to be filling them for what's going on in the earth. Okay? Because they don't have the wisdom and knowledge to understand that these things must be. How Shot said, fear none of these things, for they must be. <laughs> they must happen. Go ahead. Yeah, you want to start at 25? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke 20, uh, 1 and 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars yep. and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, yep. men's hearts filling them for fear and looking for, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Yeah, see, when these things become a reality, okay, you ain't going to be able to say, well, I don't believe that, see? The Lord gonna take all this. It, it, that's not gonna be a factor. What you don't believe, and a lot, of, uh, and a lot of things too. People think just because they don't believe it that they don't have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't believe that just because you can't fathom. Like nah, when these when people start seeing these things that we're saying, then we're gonna see their hearts failing them, their minds failing them, man. We're going to see people really dumbfounded on the whole nother level, confused on the whole nother level, man.
up on the Lord, put it in the, uh, put it in the scriptures too, in Romans. Uh, shut up, unbelief. Make the word of God a sound effect, God forbid. Yeah. You know, you don't, you, you don't believe, and then you stick, you're going to be a part of the prophecy of those that don't believe. Yeah, you still, losing you know, their mind. <laughs> you still got to deal. Right. Your stomach still going to be touching their back. Okay? Uh, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Yeah, because prophecy is going to be a reality. The scriptures speak about what? The effect of very vision. For the power, uh, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yep. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay, the from the elites down to the least, all right, of the citizens, man, gonna be shook because it's gonna come a time to where the Lord gonna open up on the elites too. They gonna have to deal, you know. Everybody finna be subjugated to prophecy, man. And we pray that we're falling to the, 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 the portion of mercy within prophecy. The mercy is part of prophecy, too. And we pray that we be within the mercy of the Lord, okay, in the prophecy, man. Okay, which scripture is in the Ezekiel 12 and 23. You know, the Midwestern United States, all over Babylon, You know, before this place. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 24. Um. For uh, uh, for there shall be no more any vain vision, nor uh, flat flattering. Ezekiel twelve and twenty three. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Yeah, that proverb of you know the vision filling. You know, but people don't have to say, yeah, prophecy filling ain't nothing happening the way they live. If you're an Israelite, you're not repenting. You're saying the vision, because see, within prophecy, what? Judgment for wickedness, man. Okay? Judgment for following after this society, man. Judgment for doing what the hell you want to do and not coming under the order of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. Okay? So, your action is saying the vision fell. Okay? Your cause people's mindset is only geared towards what they want to do. The masses of the people, their only thought in their head is what they want to do. Nothing, nothing dealing with the scriptures, man. Nothing dealing with righteousness, man. So that's them in their mind saying the vision fell. Prophecy fell. You know? But say uh, unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. Yeah, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. You see? Okay. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Yeah, so all this... You know, flattering divination. You know, Jake want to get on video and be eloquent. Be, be, okay, it's gonna be time to deal with the reality of prophecy, man. Is these things really, really settled in the earth? You know, because our people move. That's why you know you're doing a wrestling match. <laughs> you know, Jake, you know, come on, man. See, Jake, Jake not being built to deal with what's to come, man. Yeah, you see the reality show too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality show. <laughs> you know, come on, man. Prophecy is finna really settle in the earth. The effect of every vision is at hand. And the book of Revelation goes into these things, man. And throughout all the Bible. You know? But the book of Revelation is a very heavy book. And this finna be reality. The third the third world's war in Nicaragua, man. These things have been revealed, man. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna get that uh, third one. Yeah. It's Revelation 11 and 14. Yeah, we can end it. Yeah. The second war is passed, and behold, the third war coming quickly. Yeah, the second war is passed, and behold, the third war coming quickly. Okay? This third war war is gonna come quickly. You see? Because it's, it's gonna, when this third war really kicks off, remember, this third war is gonna be fought with fuel, the flame of fire, man. It'll be missile plane. It's gonna go to. Uh, 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 you know, just conventional missiles. <laughs> then it's gonna get nu nuclear. Okay. A lot of things finna go kaboom. A lot of foundations finna be shook. The scriptures talk about what? How the earth shall real what? To and fro like a drunkard. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be from this war, man. And then the coming of you, how was shot to this realm, man. Okay. Yeah, really finna shake things up. Yeah, you finna shake things up. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. You know, that's the first of all this system, man. The reason they burn it. Oh, I was at a left, I realized the left was.
Yeah, yeah. Yo, read 15. Yo, yo. Verse 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. Yeah, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. This is this is the takeover, man. You see? This is a righteous takeover that we're going into, man. And I was shy, all right? It's finna be the king of kings in the earth. And this is what we await on. This is why we're here. Okay, and we can't lose sight of that, man. You know, Jake wanna make this thing into some petty, you know, this so karma spirit, but like, nah, we here, okay, for the sake, all right, of the hope of being joint heirs with your house shot, man. We want a righteous earth, man. We desire a righteous earth now. You know? And it's total domination too. We, we ain't looking to share with no nation. Nah, nah. Nah. We don't care about y'all opinions and y'all say so. Nah. Because anytime y'all was in power too, we didn't have we don't have no say so. Yep. The kingdom of, of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord yep. and of his Hamashiach. Yep. He shall reign forever and ever. Yep, he shall reign forever and ever. Okay? The kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and he shall reign forever and ever. And that's the end game of prophecy, man. That's the end game, okay, of, 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 of the heavenly father and what he wants in the earth. A righteous kingdom, man. Okay, where well, his people dominate. Okay? This is what it's all leading up to, man. You know, so we pray to you, brothers, and you can see the edify once again. I give all praise and glory to you. How will by Hashem? I will shine by Hashem and Kakodash. Double honor to the apostle and the Lord Jesus. Bless you, rule well, teach well. Be a great example for us, younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, hopefully, let y'all be. And this time, Bill, that's the Lord's